thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, we're having conversations with all five candidates running for may the mayor of Patterson on May 10th. And again, I want to remind everybody that regardless of who you support, it is critically important that you show up to vote, that you get your friends and family and your neighbors and the community involved, because Patterson's voice is too important to be ignored, and it, it shouldn't be the few who make the decision for the many. And I'm uh, honored to be joined today by the 5th Ward Councilman Louis Velez. Thank you so much for joining us, Councilman. You've been Councilman of the 5th Ward for six years. We've known each other for a while. You were a community leader and an activist uh, for a long time before that. You're somebody whose voice is heard often on the Council. So uh, now you're running for mayor. Um, um, and I want to ask you, in this journey from private citizen to public official to now candidate for mayor, what one word or, or, or phrase, you know, like in a short, in a, as short as possible, what defines you as a person? Well, first of all, thank you for having me in yeah. your show and yeah. those of you and out there, you know, blessing. Uh, what defined me yeah. as a councilman, I could say, was before being councilman. Yeah. It's being a person that, being involved with the needs of the community, is right. being a person that had been a listener from the community, mm -hmm. being the voice, mm -hmm. and being involved in the community. That defined me to understand the problem that we have. Okay. And understanding those problems, that's why I pursued the office of the council, and um, thanks God I'm there. Uh, this is my second term, and now I'm pursuing the mayor. See, because I believe it's the people's time. Okay. It's your time. Okay. Well, now let me ask you, you when you were first elected, when, when, when uh, Mayor Sire came to office, uh, many believe, people believe that you were allies together. Now you're running against him. Um, what is it about the mayor's agenda um, that you think you, he needs to be replaced? Well, understanding that the relation that the mayor had with the council, mm -hmm. that's how mm -hmm. I call it, government yeah. relation. Right. I had to understand that the city had to move forward. Mm -hmm. So the mayor is the executive um, individual in the government that is there. Right. So if I'm a roadblocker, yeah. um, as a councilman, things don't get moved in the right. city. So sure. I have to leave my thought, my personal yeah. thought, and what I see the city, mm -hmm. and do my job as a councilman. When mm -hmm. I'm sitting as a councilman, mm -hmm. I'm thinking on the community. Yeah, yeah. And my decision is not just to favor the agenda in that moment of that mayor mm -hmm. in particular, but to favor 150% agenda of the community. That's right. why you see things in the city that have moved forward right. because I have always been the councilman to look at the agenda mm -hmm. of the community and move it forward. Yeah. And that's a includes a lot of projects, includes other things in sure. the city I want. If I was the negative councilman, uh -huh. probably we don't have more cops. Okay. If I was the negative councilman, mm -hmm. probably we won't have a Hinkley Stadium. Okay. If I was a negative councilman, yeah. probably I wouldn't have a lot of projects uh, fulfilled in the city of Patterson. So right. I have to fulfill my position as legislator that I was called for. Okay. Now let me ask you specifically on a couple issues. Crime. Crime is at an all-time high in terms of the murder rate in Patterson. A lot of cities across America have, have all-time highs in crime, the pandemic, and, and everything else. If you become mayor over the next four years, what's your plan to bring that crime rate down? First of all, the crime is nationwide. Yeah. But we have to understand and focus on the local mm -hmm. level, and it's yeah. Patterson. Right. What we could do to prevent that the crime keep on increasing year by year. Right. This administration has done that, mm -hmm. increasing the crime uh, status in, in, in year after year. Mm -hmm. As your mayor, mm -hmm. I will promise you that I will focus into the quality of life of the city of Patterson with zero tolerance. Okay. Okay? And that means calling in. If I had to call the state trooper to come in, if I had to call the county and sit down with them and tell them, we need your help, mm -hmm. let's leave the egos on the side, the mm -hmm. egos on the side, and let's work together for the benefit of the rest of the person that are looking and right. crying for peace mm -hmm. in, 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 in reduction of crime. Right. right. Now, one of the things I will activate in the city of Patterson is that, remember we lost 125 cops. Sure. Okay, we bring, we be approving to bring more cops, right. but at the same time we're falling short mm -hmm. because a lot of them are resigning. Mm -hmm. A lot of them don't want to work in Patterson because the pay is not enough. Right. So we have to make sure, we make sure that contract that they receive mm -hmm. are satisfied for they could be proud where they work. Mm -hmm. The second thing is to reinstate the gang units. Mm -hmm. The gang unit would identify who's dealing with drugs, what's the gangs out there, and who's committing crime out right. there. 
area. Right. The other thing that will activate is a canine unit mm -hmm. that will help to identify if you go to arrest an individual dealing with drugs, probably he hiding the drugs around. Mm -hmm. And you could identify with the drugs sure. and retrieve that drugs out of the streets. Okay. It, it could happen with firearms. It could happen with a lot of mm -hmm. uh, um, crime that's happening in Patterson. Let me ask you about another issue. Um, quality of life issue that concerns so many residents is sanitation mm -hmm. and the, the cl cleanliness of the streets. Uh, what's your plan over the next four years? How do you feel the sanitation situation is now, the, the, you know, the cleanliness, um, and, 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 and what do we do to move it forward to make Patterson a cleaner city? We need to start working with the culture of the city employees. Mm -hmm. Then we have to identify what more equipment they need. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is training, mm -hmm. and the other thing is making a response from accountable. You have a director mm -hmm. and in any department in mm -hmm. the city as administrator, right. and that director is not fulfilling the job. Right. You have to bring him to the office okay. and say, listen, I put you there to do a job. Yeah. So you are representing me, so yeah. you need to do your job right. I guarantee you in six months in my administration, I will put the city beautified from in out okay. and people will be proud mm -hmm. to live in Patterson mm -hmm. and also to visit Patterson. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let me ask you about a question that everybody always asks about, not just in Patterson, every municipality in New Jersey, property taxes, okay? Um, the homeowners in Patterson, they've seen an increase in their property tax bill. It's been, it's leveled off a bit, but it's always a concern it's, and it's, it's as high as, as any other city in New Jersey. Uh, what would be your plan over four years? To, to well, first out? of all, we have to start challenging. The yeah. administrator of the city has the power to challenge any tax and screen that come from the Board of Education. Right. right. Use the legal power mm -hmm. to challenge that tax increase from the school district. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I don't satisfy only that the state is giving rebate. Mm -hmm. We need to create our own home rebate in the city pass locally okay, that probably match right. the same need that the taxpayer needs. Okay, direct rebate. To Correct, to direct homeowners. rebate, okay. especially locally. Right. What about the state decide not to give no more that rebate? Sure. Okay, sure. at least we have a local rebate that satisfied the tax owners in the city of Patterson. Sure. Now we have to increase the revenues to be able to, to make sure that yeah. offset the cost of those rebates. Sure. So let me ask you, um, in your career, not just as a public official, but your whole career, what's the one accomplishment you're most proud of? That I'm a family man. Okay. I'm a religion man. I'm a mm -hmm. Christian. Mm -hmm. And I believe that um, I understand people. Yeah. I understand people and I'm a listener. Yeah. And I'm passionate when I have to do things for the community. Mm -hmm. And I'm boots on the ground. I don't like to talk about me a lot. Okay. I, like, I like to have action okay. what I do. My okay. words have to be, be for reflecting what I do. And what's the thing What's the thing on your agenda that you just haven't, the thing when you came in, first you had it on your list to get done, but it just hasn't gotten done for one reason or another. What's that thing on, that, on your list that you haven't gotten done, but you, but you know is critical to get done? I don't think, if, if, if I look at the agenda since 2016 or yeah. before being a councilman, what I want to see in the fifth ward, yeah. I don't think that I cannot say that I have not fulfilled. Okay. Probably have been slowed down a little bit, mm -hmm. but it all depends who was administrator in this time. Right. Remember the city passing went with three mayors yeah. since 2016, then we have a, a temporary mayor, then we have the mayor right now that we have. Yeah. I think that I've been fulfilling my responsibility as a councilman in my ward, okay, and fulfill the needs of the community with the limited resources that the legislator have because we're sure. not the administrator. Sure. So I think I have done um, quite good. Okay. I cannot say that I have not fulfilled, probably have been slowed down a little bit, but mm -hmm. it get to the point that have been done. Okay, well, we're gonna end on a fun note. Uh, as a Pattersonian, What's the experience, you know, it could be a place, it could be a restaurant, it could be an experience, whatever it is that, that you feel. What's the quintessential Patterson experience for you? 8.9 miles uh, mile square in the, around the city. Listen, every corner, <laughs> I could talk about every corner yeah. of the city. I say that the Fifth Ward is the heart of Patterson. Okay. So when I say the Fifth Ward is heart of Patterson, yeah. I want to make sure the Fifth Ward beats the right way, <laughs> so the surrounding of mines beat the right way too. So if I say what part I enjoy more is taking care of my constituent when I'm sitting in City Hall mm -hmm. and then when, when I'm in the streets. All right, well that's for the Fifth Ward Council and aiming to be mayor. Thank you so much, Council. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. And thank you everybody for listening. We've been coming here from a studio at the historic Calvary Baptist Church, and we thank Pastor Lassiter 
uh, for, for endowing this project. And we encourage everybody, every Pattersonian, regardless of who you support, to make sure you come out and vote on May 10th. Your vote, your voice, your actions are critical. This is your city, and it's time that we take control and ownership of the decisions that are made in City Hall. Thank you for joining us once again.